What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer doing the deck profile for Invoke Dogmatica Generator. Later in the day, I'll also release a bunch of more gameplay video. I have like a lot more. Um, I've actually gotten really, really into this deck, and I can't recommend playing it enough. Um, and I'll talk about all the changes I made in the deck, but yeah, let's just go ahead and go right into it now, and then we'll do the gameplay later. <laughs> so I do run. <laughs> This is a weird word. Um, we'll just call this Generator Boss of Ice. How does that sound? And then Har Generator Boss of Storms. And then Utgarda Generator Boss of Delusion. Um, so I used to run two Har, but what you'll see later in, in the video, or um, in the other video with gameplay, is that you actually do want different names. And it's also very easy to cycle um, these other monsters once they hit the graveyard. Technically, you could hit these at two, but I like to have more targets personally. So. Um, I do like to run three. Also, being able to negate special summons is pretty good. I think it's a pretty good effect. Um, going next, we do have the fleur de -Lis, the Maximus, and the three Ecclesia. Obviously, obviously these are just kind of like your play starters. Maximus especially shines in this deck. The whole extra deck is kind of centered around you know this card's effect, which I think is good, um, personally. It's not just like one effect to go off. Like You, should, you can use this literally every turn, and I'll explain how that works. Um, the three Alistair and the Invoker. I used to run three Magical Meltdown, but I ended up changing that um, because you do not want to draw this in the late stages of the game. Because um, if bo boss stage is on the board, then and you top deck this, you're forced to make a pretty difficult decision, so I pretty much removed that. The only reason I do run one copy is because of terraforming. Um, if you do have boss stage in your opening or you know even boss fight and you have terraforming, you want to search Magical Meltdown instead. So that's where that's, that's where that comes from. All right, next we do have the three Ash Blossom and Joyous Ring, two Jorn Lockbird, three Effect Veiler. The reason um, there's so many hand traps, well, of course, you just need hand traps, but I used to run Crackdown, but, um, man, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is so fast right now, and it felt a little too slow. I'd rather have kind of like 12 hand traps than 9 plus Crackdown, which is insane to say, but uh, still pretty true. And I think main decking Jorn Lockbird is actually half decent in this format right now. And if it doesn't work out, then, of course, you just side it. Um, okay, so next we'll go ahead and, because um, you also run Infinite Permanence here. Next is Three Nadir Servant. I'm worried that this card will hit the um, ban list on some form or fashion to sell some cards. Uh, we'll see. I think this is going to stick around for one more format and probably get limited if I had to take a guess. Um, the two trick with Tactical Talents. This could also be like a pot of card, but um, I really do like the extra deck, so. <coughs> also, this is a much cheaper option. Um, and it's really versatile, too. If they ask your Alistair and you have this in your hand, you're on the moon because you're taking another card from their hand more than likely because everything else is a one-card play starter. So you're going to be way, way, way ahead in card advantage. And also the knowledge of knowing what's in your opponent's hand is obviously also very, very good. Um, then the terraforming I talked about, the one invocation, I've always run one when it comes to Alistair. Three boss stage to go along with the one magical meltdown. The three infinite impermanence like I talked about. Um, the three generator boss stage. This card kind of stinks, but it's also pretty decent. Um, this card is much better in the late stages um, of the game. The one dogmatic of punishment, because your extra deck isn't that important, honestly. Um, and the three solemn strike, because this card is so good. <laughs> this card is amazing. Um, it's a count like the fact that it's a counter trap and just pretty much can't be responded to will win you duels. Also, if you're going first and you activate boss stage and then um, the churn goes to your opponent and they try to ash this effect and you solemn strike this, they've just gone minus one plus you're getting an Omni to gate, you know, which is obviously very beneficial to you. Um, okay, on to the extra deck here. The Invoked Macaba, um, Titan Clad the Ash Dragon, the one Invoked Og, I'm going to call this Og now, um, invoked, invoked Purgatrio, although this card, uh, I don't use that much, but I still think it has pretty decent application. Two Elder Entity Nists to go along with one Cyframe Lord Omega. Um, this card is so good um, because basically what ends up happening is your first go around with Maximus, you're probably going to send Titan, and you're probably going to send like a Wind Pegasus if it's turn zero. Turn two, this thing stays on the board, does have 3,000 offense. You can send an Omega and an Elder. Boom, then you can just shuffle the Elder back in the deck. Or, if they get rid of your Har, you can just send the Omega 2, shuffle the Har back into the deck, which of course has a bunch of synergy with boss stage, right? Because it has special summon from the deck, so it, it literally can't be much better than that. So this card is like the MVP of the deck. 
um, the one Zeus, because you do run Exeed Monsters, but you also run Triple Attack. So if you take control of an Exeed Monster, it's just good to have this card, I feel like. Um, before, I was like, maybe I should add another Elder, but because of the presence of Omega, it's a little too good. Um, the Phantom Fortress, this card's super nuts. Um, Non-targeting Banishment um, from the hand, Graveyard Field, whatever the case may be. I do run the generator boss monster. It's pretty good. It's able to get up to a really beefy kind of like 4,000 attack, get rid of it, your opponent's vantage, all that kind of good stuff. Um, the, you know, the Baron Blossom, of course, is really important in this deck because if you draw one of these bad boys, you have to throw them back in the deck somehow. And this is by far the best, like, pretty much the only way to do that. But luckily, you have so many different ways to access that um, that it's a very possible interaction to deal with. And then um, Secure Gardena and the Solemn Great Almirage. This is pretty standard stuff with Alistair. On to the side deck. Three Nibiru, three Lancia, three Dark Ruler No More, um, three Cosmic Cyclone, and yes, three Royal Decree. I lose to trap cards more than any other card in this deck. It literally feels like the weakness. Um, so if you can just shut that down, then you're good to go. Now, you maybe you side out the three Solemn Strike. Um, maybe you... I don't know, maybe you just hold on. I mean, you don't have to activate this as soon as possible because I promise you that, you know, maybe stopping yourself from Solemn Strike, if, you know, knowing that you're going to be playing this card, like if you're playing Eldritch, giving up a Solemn Strike versus, like, their entire archetype, I think is pretty important. Having an auto win button, I think, is too good in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, to have in this side. And the only reason that this is even possible is because how many slots you have. Like, normally, I would not run this card ever, but because you run, like, literally like 15 hand traps or 12, whatever the case may be, this card can fit. And I think it fits really well. Um, it's good against Altergeist. It literally beats Altergeist. Um, it's good against Virtual World. And, like, I talked about Eldritch, so... Um, I'm going to try to get some more gameplay videos before I release this video tonight, showing off how good this card can be. But that is going to do it for the deck profile. Be sure to look out probably around like 5 or 6 o'clock for the other gameplay video. But other than that, that's going to do it for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.